Okay, the next trap here is a carry-on trap. It's exactly the same as a vein trap using the same idea, and the only difference with this one is that it's actually baited. So um, carrion beetles will typically eat things like meat and, and rotten fish and all kinds of disgusting smelling things. So to replicate that, what I've done is um, I've got some fresh liver. Yeah, fresh liver. Uh, from the reduce section in Sainsbury's and the idea is that we're going to wrap it in some of this and um, this is cheesecloth we're going to wrap it up we're going to make a little parcel put it in and then wrap it up and tuck it on the inside so hopefully um, I have aged this so it's been in the boot of my car for a little while so it will stink a bit um, I've aged it to the point where flies will be less interested in it flies tend to go for fresher meat whereas carrying beetles go for meat that's been there for a bit longer so it's always worth um, just sticking it somewhere warm, leaving it for a little while, um, and then it really gets a pungent odour, which sucks for me because I'm about to go through it, but luckily I'm going to use some gloves. Um, really important when you're playing with rotting meat because you don't want to get ill. Um, so I'm going to put some gloves on, and we're going to cut some of this chopped liver up, stick it in a, some cheesecloth, and then pop it in the trap and see how we go. Well, that's pretty gross. So here's our parcel of chopped liver, and then what we're going to do is make sure we don't lose any of it. We're going to pop it in, we're going to make a little parcel, so we're going to pinch the corners. Pinch parcel, give it a twist, and then we're going to just wrap an elastic band around it. Uh, cheesecloth is quite cheap, so if I do want to throw it away at the end, that's fine. Uh, and if I really want to be stingy, I can always uh, wash it out. Uh, and it will retain some of its odour, so it might be quite partic more particularly pungent later, so it might be very good for attracting more things. So another really good tip here is um, in your trap to put some sand. This allows beetles to burrow in, and um, it also protects them. I'm in a bit of a shaded area, so don't have to worry about cooking my beetles. Um, this will be a live trap, because hopefully I'll be able to see, um, come back with a load of people on Saturday and see them alive, if there are any here. Uh, and really I don't need to um, dispatch any carrion beetles, mainly because they're really distinctive as a species. Um, any tricky ones I can just take and put under the microscope at home and then release afterwards. Um, so it's not really an issue, I don't have to worry about um, microscopic examination. Um, I might find some smaller things in here which might be attracted, things like hysterids, um, which are called clown beetles. Um, we'll see how it goes. I found a few species here, so it would be nice to add to that list. All the ones I have found have been related to uh, mushrooms and fungi so it'd be good to get some that are actually uh, carrion feeders would be quite nice and um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it in like that I'm gonna put the lid on top um, and then I'm gonna hoist this into the tree so Bob's your uncle So that's all nice and secure now, so um, I can make sure it's not going to fall over if it's a bit windy. I do try and avoid putting these over walkways just because if someone's underneath and they do fall, it could obviously cause injury. Uh, it's best practice just to stick away from walkways. It also has the added benefit of preventing people from vandalising your traps. If you see something interesting in a tree, so most people will want to find out what it is. Um, I have found quite a lot of my traps have been vandalised, um, so this is a good way to sort of, you know, keep them safe. They keep off the main paths, don't have an issue. Good stuff. Let's get this guy up. Um, quite a lot of people will put uh, carrion traps in the ground, uh, which is quite good and actually quite a lot of carrion beetles will go towards the ground anyway. The reason I put this up in a tree um, is purely because there are so many dog walkers here and there's lots of foxes um, and those animals do typically dig up traps. Um, I haven't got the facilities to put cages over my traps, um, maybe in the near future with a bit of funding, but uh, for now I just find put them in the trees, very few things will be able to get them down. Uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>